When President Rodrigo Roa Duterte assumed office in 2016, priorities were directed towards addressing terrorism and insurgency concerns by adopting counter-insurgency strategies and committing to making existing human rights monitoring mechanisms work to realize the long-term goal of societal stability. As a comprehensive, integrated, community-based and national program, ECLIP was locally implemented to address the legal status and security of former rebels, as well as their economic, social, and psychological rehabilitation needs. The program aims to help rebel members of the CPP, NPA, NDF, and Militia ng Bayan to restore their allegiance to the Philippine government. In the span of six years, a total of 281 former rebels in Region 9 have surrendered and have been integrated to the mainstream environment. 67 turned in firearms were officially recorded, which were already inventoried and sealed and ready for the conduct of demilitarization. As mandated, the DILG extended assistance to former rebels in the form of financial and livelihood interventions and firearm remuneration. As an introduction to ECLIP and to effectively communicate, advocate, and highlight the significance of the program, an orientation briefing on Joint Memorandum Circular 2018-01 was conducted on March 5, 2020 with the members of the ECLIP Committee, Provincial and Municipal Social Welfare Development Officers, and Battalion Commanders as participants. On the initiative of the Regional ECLIP Committee and partner stakeholders, the first Western Mindanao Former Rebel Summit and acceptance was successfully conducted on August 15, 2020 at Ipil Sambaga, Sibugay with Philippine Army Commanding Officer Lieutenant General Cerilito Sabihena as guest of honor. Recognizing the role of the local government units in the whole process, the provincial government of Sambuanga del Norte, Sambuanga del Sur, and Sambuanga Sibugay provided the former rebels in their areas an additional financial support in the amount of 20,000 pesos. As a mechanism to protect the dignity and preserve the integrity of the former rebels, Halfway houses were constructed in the three provinces of Region 9 to serve as temporary shelters for former rebels. The halfway houses located at the Paul City, Municipality of Ipil, and Municipality of Ipus were completed in calendar year 2020 and are now fully functional effectively addressing the holistic needs of surrenderers in the region. An on-the-spot painting contest conducted last March 9, 2020 at BILG Regional Office, Manitowak, Pagadian City to liven up the level of consciousness of the youth on various impacts of terrorism and insurgency. In an effort to sustain the gains in the program, the DILG Region 9 under the leadership of Regional Director Paisala Patazil, with the support of partners, forged a memorandum of agreement with Project Good Life for Friends Rescued of the Good Life Academy represented by its president, Moy Be last April 28, 2020 at Hotel Guillermo, Pagadian City. In Region 9, FR does not mean former rebels but Friends Rescued. Project Good Life for Friends Rescued is a program initiated by the 53rd Infantry Battalion in partnership with national government agencies and various organizations that aims to translate the result of initial strength-based research inquiry among former rebels of the 53rd Infantry Battalion the Community Extension Service. As of January 2022, 42 of Friends Rescued have successfully completed the 10th month extensive program under the Project Good Life that was conducted last January 21, 2022 at Camp Major David Sabido Gipos, Sambonga do Sur. The program has greatly contributed to the improvement of the state of happiness, level of optimism, and overall well-being of this Friends Rescue. As a result, these individuals have successfully and painstakingly reintegrated themselves as productive members of mainstream society. To date, 71 FRs are serving as members of the Citizen Armed Forces Geographical Unit or CAFGU, while three are now part of the Philippine Army. In Sambonga Peninsula, Friends Rescued is used to describe rebel returnees or those who opt to return to the fold of the government for integration into mainstream society. An interview with the Friends Rescue Jenny Nano was taken wherein she asserted how her life changed after being rescued.
Uh, ako dahil si Jenilena no Arias Jikjik, kapag si Arias narikot sa NPA, upat ko katuig, ugwalo kabulan sa bukit. Sulod sa upat katuig na pagrihot, grabe akong sakripisyo na naigian, kagutom o kaminaw sa pamilya. Tungod sa kalisod, nakadeside ko nga mo surrender o karon, malipayon ko, nagbalik ko o eskwila sa akong magyaan nga eskwila. Moreover, in the name of genuine public service and with the commitment from member agencies, the following are initiatives and intervention of member agencies to provide immediate support to the government program for FRs, CPP, NPA, NDF, and Militia ng Bayan. To ensure sustainability of the program, significant activities are to be undertaken and are currently in the pipeline. With a new set of local officials who would assume office by end of June, eclipse committees at provincial and highly urbanized city levels to include the Municipal Social Welfare Development Officers and Battalion Commanders will be oriented on Joint Memorandum Circular 2021-01 and Administrative Order 25. Crafting of the Eclipse Implementation Plan and the Eclipse Halfway House Operation Plan. Orientation on the Eclipse Information System. Demilitarization of 67 turn in firearms. And second engagement with Project Good Life. Project Good Life is a 10-month psychoeducation program. In this project, we turn or we label the former rebels as friends with because we want them to feel that they are belong in the new city community. ECLE has successfully achieved its objectives since its implementation. Groups and individuals who were once considered hostile forces have come to terms with the fact that radicalism does not create a comprehensive panorama of the large spectrum of reality in society. Conflicts and interests and ideologies cannot be solved with guns and arms. Voices has to be amplified as a key component of a strategy to counter groups espousing ideology of terrorism.